Let's let them know who really got it Came up from the bottom Now we riding in a mozzie And these my jealous done burnt the hole in my pocket See me, I'm shining Yo, what is up guys? It is your boy Bugs. In today's video guys, I'm going to be starting a beginner guides to aim guides. And this video is going to be about the pretty much the mandatory abilities that you have to run, especially if you're a beginner at the game. And let's get straight into it. Now, these abilities is what I like to call the defensive abilities, and here they are. Uh, one is Vanish, two is Zeus, three is Cloak, and four is Ice Block. Um I feel like you definitely need to run at least two of these defenses ability just so it gives you a breather away from your opponent or even puts you in the position to dominate your opponent and let's get straight into it. Now the first one is Vanish. I feel like this is like the number one mandatory ability ever just for the fact that this ability allows you to get away from your opponents, also lets you do sneaky strategy against people and also it makes you do a lot of massive damage if you could, um, do it correctly. Now the second ability is Zeus. Zeus is amazing for breaking traps, wasting your opponent's abilities, and kind of getting away also, but you just do massively less damage, and um, the cooldown is just more um, longer, but you are immune to literally everything once you pop it. Um, Cloak. Cloak is a very low-key, not really mandatory at all, not a lot of people even use it anymore. But this is definitely to get, as you can see, it gets rid of all debuffs as in AoEs, bleeds, stuns, I think. No, no, no. Well, it gets, you can't be stunned when you're using it, but you can't use it while you're stunned before. And then finally, my favorite, Ice Block. It lets you be, once again, like Zeus, invincible for the duration of 5 seconds. Also heals you a little bit, and the cooldown is a little bit less. Um, the cons for these stuff... For invis, there's no really con for it besides if you get hit with like maybe a slow or a stun, then it kind of punishes it. Like if you like get slow and then pop it, your opponent knows you can't go too far. Or if you get stunned and pop it, your opponent sometimes if they're a little high skill level, they'll know that you're still in that position, especially the blood spatter of them shooting you. Zeus, the only really bad thing about this is that you barely do any type of damage when you're in it and the cooldown is 50 seconds nearly a minute so that's very like punishing if you get yourself into a sticky situation um cloak it's pretty good for the five seconds like i said it's really good for aoe's and bleeds because you literally the only thing they could do to you is damage you with their gun and if they're not hitting you with their guns this is this amazing and then ice block the only thing that's really bad about ice block is that you could get instantly stunned right after like say trojan stun or this stun or even a trap uh, if they place a trap at the right timing they can you know stun you and probably do even more massively damage on you but i would definitely say two of them is definitely recommended and the two that i personally recommend is vanish and ice block or vanish and zeus never vanish and cloak just for the fact that like i said it's not that powerful but definitely one of these three and maybe even if you want to run a triple you can run a triple if you really want to and then finally, the other two pretty much mandatory things that you need to run are heals. And as you can see, I am running the self-heal and the lesser self-heal. The reason why is just for the fact that if you get a little damage ticks tack in, in this, you can heal yourself constantly and don't have to waste like a bigger heal as this one, which is 28 for 15 seconds. Now, some of y'all is probably looking through like all the heals abilities and seeing stuff that you can see that if you really look at it, team healing is actually way more... Um, more real not reliable more um pretty much ugh, i forgot the word I, i'm so sorry but pretty much more like you gain more out of it of your teammates are shooting you with heals but the only backlash for this type of stuff is that your teammate has to get the shot off for you your teammate has to remember or or watch over your health or it has to like listen to when you say that you need a heal in the future i feel like if this game does get more competitively Yes, team heals will be a massive thing in the future, but as of right now in this meta and how people play and how small the community is, it's definitely worth just to run the double heals just for the fact that you just have to worry about yourself when you need to heal. And then you can use your abilities to get your you yeah, you use your abilities to get your opponents off of your teammate if they are that weak they need to heal. But as of right now, double self heal is definitely the wave. Um this is just my preference. Definitely you can look into how your playstyle is, what works for you, works better for you. Would you rather just run the greatest self heal with the self heal, the greatest self heal with lesser, ju rejuvenate greater self, run these double rejuvenate. It's all how your playstyle is. Don't be afraid to test some stuff out because you never know what will work for you. 
But yeah, those are pretty much your four mandatory stuff that you possibly and most likely have to run, especially if you're a beginner. It just helps out. And yeah, depending on how this video does, I'll continue the series, teach y'all builds, teach y'all um, strategies, metas, loadouts, how to even use um, Vanish and Ice. Because there's, there's a lot of people that, even though they understand that these are the four things you need to run, they don't necessarily use it correctly. And, and it pretty much just makes them not do good and just lose instantly and they're understanding why like why did people do this and do that and yeah if this video does good i'll continue with the series leave a like if you like the video comment if you have any problems or any questions i always respond to all my um comments in the you know down below and it's the first time you watch my videos and you want to see more hit the subscribe button guys and i'm out peace yeah, she got a man she don't really give a fuck about left him back home in a whole nother state moved to la because she want to be famous got another five on the side she a waitress but it's getting tough hard to find better